with essentially their hopes of winning the ACC Coastal Division on the line. Virginia Tech took on Miami in a huge ACC battle in Lane Stadium last night, which I had the pleasure of attending. Had a wonderful time as the Hokies won 37-16, a resounding victory. Although the game was close for much of the contest, that final scoreline can be a little bit deceptive when you look at how things played out. Still, nonetheless, a very strong performance in all three phases of the game for the Hokies. And, you know, it was uh, crucial to see how this defensive line was going to perform with two key players out with Ken Ekenham and Nigel Williams unavailable. So the big man on campus this week has got to be Woody Barron, who had four and a half tackles for loss and two and a half sacks. Such a dominant performance. Uh, those four and a half tackles uh, for loss were uh, they tied the record mark over the last 30 years with uh, Barry Booker's output against the University of Virginia back in 2007. So, you know, just a, a wonderful game from uh, Woody Barron. Played terrific, as did uh, Vinny Mahota. You know, Vinny Mahota had to leave the second quarter uh, after popping out his shoulder, and then he popped it right back in and got back on the field. And, you know, he finished with uh, two and a half tackles for loss, including two sacks. So, you know, it was a very uh, difficult game for Miami quarterback Brad Kaya. He was hassled and uh, harried throughout. You know, it was uh, really, really difficult for him. And, uh, you know, credit, major, major credit to Bud Foster for adjusting for the loss of his starters and the guys who stepped in in Ekenim and Williams' absence. Truly uh, a great performance defensively. And it was kind of odd how uh, in the first half, you know, you could really feel uh, Virginia Tech controlling the game. And yet, they only went into halftime up 16-9. to nine. You felt like the Hokies should have been up by more. Certainly, uh, it was a major momentum shift when uh, Miami was able to snag that late first half touchdown uh, when Braxton Berrios caught a 25-yard pass from uh, Brad Kaya. But, you know, the Hokies got it going early on with some important field goals from Joey Sly. And Bucky Hodges, you know, a major story out of this game, had a season high with catches. Uh, you know, Bucky had, uh, you know, two touchdown grabs as well, two crucial grabs. Uh, which was awesome to see. You know, Bucky said after the game, he feels like uh, no matter what, who he's going up against, he feels like he is enjoying a mismatch, which says uh, a ton about his confidence, and hopefully uh, Fuente will continue to get him more and more involved on offense. It seems like just naturally uh, the Hokies are going to get Bucky involved a lot on offense, as well as uh, Cam Phillips, because... Isaiah Ford is just attracting so much attention from opposing defenses, and rightfully so, since he's going to go down as the greatest Virginia Tech wide receiver of all time. You know, uh, Bucky Hodges had seven catches for 66 yards. Cam Phillips had seven catches for 64 yards. And Isaiah Ford, look, he only had four catches for 46 yards, but he didn't need to do anything else because, you know, the distribution was there. You know, Gerard Evans, uh, you know, he's had a pretty good game. You know, of course, the thing that people remember from this game was that awesome touchdown run, which just put the exclamation point on the victory, removed all doubt about the Hokies uh, potentially blowing the game or, and late on. That was the icing on the cake, if you will. Just uh, a great run on his part. And, you know, we can debate who the best quarterback in the ACC is. I don't think there's any one clear answer, but for me, there's no doubt whatsoever that Gerard Evans is the toughest. He took some hard hits out there. You know, we would like to perhaps see him slide a little more, but man, he fought for those first downs that he got. He's a warrior. He's a great leader for the Hokies to rally around and uh, just uh, a phenomenal quarterback, you know. But one thing he does need to continue to improve, of course, is the deep ball. He missed some open guys downfield. 
I know he there are some throws he would like to have back, but um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that feels like a little bit of nitpicking because he had a solid game. 21 completions on 33 attempts for 259 yards and a pair of scores and uh, no interceptions. But the man with an over 500 passer efficiency rating on the season is Sam Rogers. He threw that uh, beautiful halfback pass to Stephen Peoples. And that was uh, a real crucial momentum switch in the game. You know, the crowd really took its energy to the next level as, uh, you know, that gave the Hokies a 30-16 to lead, um, you know, late in the fourth quarter after Bucky had already caught both of his touchdown passes. So, you know, but as all these great things on offense in the passing game are going, it's also important to note that Virginia Tech uh, stayed true to the run. You know, it was a little bit difficult running the ball early on, but they stayed the course and it paid off. Trayvon McMillan, a huge game, 18 carries, for 130 yards, and, you know, I'm sure he didn't score, but man, he got it done big time between the 20s. I've been calling for week after week for Fuente to feed Trayvon. It's a great Twitter hashtag. You know, he is the best, most talented running back on this team for me, clearly. I mean, Marshawn Williams brings a lot to the table as well as a power back, but in terms of the closest thing to a workhorse the Hokies have, it has to be McMillan. If I'm Fuente, i got to be saying, look, he needs to get the ball a minimum of 15 times a game. So all in all, with the pressure on, you know, battle of two equally desperate teams, the Hokies came out on top. Huge win. They have a, a week to prepare for another Thursday night game. This time it'll be away uh, up in Pittsburgh. It's been a very difficult place to play for the Hokies in recent years. Certainly going to be a very tough matchup. Pittsburgh was on a bye, so they have extra time to prepare. So it'll be a really, really tough matchup. Really looking forward to seeing how the Hokies maintain this momentum. So for those who have passed and for those to come, reach for excellence.